let me just go back to uh, Pradyot De Berman, uh, who I, uh, as I said, I was speaking to him earlier, and I also asked him, was he also surprised about this kind of response, the communal violence, the booking of, uh, you know, so many people? H has this ever happened before in Tripura? Tripura has never had a history of Hindu-Muslim conflict. Many people are not even aware that our ancestors, actually the Maharajas of Tripura, when Tripura was an independent kingdom, actually built mosques for uh, Shuja. So Tripura has never had a history of Hindu-Muslim divide. What we are seeing now is an artificial divide which has been created for World Bank politics from both ends. Right. And uh, it is very unfortunate. Uh, we have always seen Sheikh Hasina as a friend of India. Uh, Sheikh Hasina has a special uh, 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 place for us in Tripura. Right. Because of the involvement of a late father, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Okay. And when we see that attacks take place uh, against the minority, it only strengthens people who want uh, the relationship between India and Bangladesh to be spoiled. Uh, I think it's very unfortunate. Uh, it is a huge departure from our norms. And this culture is extremely alien to us. And we are very worried because, you know, the day Sheikh Hasina gets destabilized in Bangladesh, mm -hmm. you will have many migrant Hindus who will be targeted by fringe elements there. And once they start coming over to the Northeast, right. you will have a conflict between migrant Hindus and the indigenous people, the tribals of Northeast. Right. So whoever is doing this is not only doing it to target a particular government or a state, they're trying to create unrest in the entire Northeast.